but uh, I was able to read uh, the book twice, and I was actually very much impressed with many reflections, with many ideas, with many concepts in which uh, Dennis was included in his books, in his book. And I thought uh, I should uh, share with you uh, some written thoughts. Usually, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Um, uh, let me start by expressing on behalf of the people and the government of Republic of Kosovo and my own name the highest gratitude for immense work and research you have done to finish this excellent book. Why Kosovo Still Matters is, a, is a, an astonishing book in Kosovo. It masterfully describes the knowledge and many years and many years experience of Dennis as a determined politician <clears throat> and a global thinker. I see the book as, a, as an open call to policy makers to continue to engage for a secure and a better future for Kosovo and Balkans. Ever since the declaration of independence of Kosovo in 2008, our government and the people had two main goals. Firstly, internal state building, and secondly, strengthening uh, of our international position. Kosovo is today a country with the most stable political landscape in the Western Balkans. It is a functional multi-ethnic democracy. The economic situation is improving every year. And it's important in this age to say that we have least debt in all of European continent. Well, that is good. <laughs> uh, it is also one of the most vibrant and dynamic societies in the Balkans. Of course, we have a lot of challenges in front of us, like other societies in transition. But in terms of stability, security, and freedom for our citizens, we have never lived better in our history. As a foreign minister of a very young country, I'm very proud to tell you that we have secured 85 recognitions of our state from around the globe. 